I thought we'd take another look. Well, I always start it with I thought, don't I? I thought we'd take another look at the Synclavia today. Um, I'm starting off this video without the Synclavia turned on. One of the things people always comment on is, first of all, the keys. It's, it's an old uh, Pratt Reed key bed and it needs to be rebushed. Um, not, it's not too bad, but it's bad enough that it, the keyboard is really clacky. When you turn it on, there's two huge 110 volt fans right on the front of the unit or the back of the unit, depending on which way you've got it facing you. Um, they really pump out air, so not only do you have a clacky keyboard, you've got a huge amount of uh, air conditioning down uh, with the mainframe. So let's turn on the system and first of all you'll hear how much noise the system has then we'll take a bit more of an informed look. This is where I get down on my hands and knees. So we've got the initial patch, it's a basic sine wave. So the first thing we're going to play with is the pitch and harmonic control. So the pitch and harmonic control, I think of that like a tone wheel organ. So you can add in different harmonics and it does sound very organy. So we'll add in the second. Helps if I'm on the second. that down an octave. And just like most other synths, we've got a little vibrato there so we can give it a uh, bit of a Hammond effect. So let's go vibrato, we'll go depth and we'll turn it up. Maybe a little too much. So you can hear it really is sort of very organy. Let's add some FM. So we go FM. Now the first thing I'll need to do is actually turn on the FM. So turn on the FM. <laughs> so the first thing I'll need to do is actually include the FM. Now the way I do that is through the uh, FM or harmonic envelope. So that will mean the FM can be included just like any other envelope. I'll show you. So we'll just go 100% on the FM. And you can hear that now. Not exactly the nicest tone. So largely on the Synclavia, the FM actually is a modulator. Now that's very different to the way, say, a DX7 uses its FM. Let's play with the modulation rate. So every time I press the FM ratio, it'll actually increase. That's quite nice. So you can hear there's no... Ooh. <laughs> so you can hear the FM's actually stopping faster than the original pitch and harmonic. So let's add a bit of final decay. So the final decay on here is very much like a release in a standard envelope, but um, you know we're talking about a time before really these things were standard. So because all the effectors of the basic sine waves are controlled by this harmonic envelope, we can do some pretty interesting things. So let's add 
a slow attack. I'll turn down that sustain and we'll add some initial decay. Add some peak. Let's add some other harmonics. Let's go up with the ratio on the FM. So that's almost a um, be really easy to create a steel drum type sound from that. So where can we go from here? One of the things I've never touched on in my videos so far is the recorder section. Let's have a look at the recorder. So let's hook up the uh, click track. All right. So depending on how many FM voices we've got, depends how many tracks obviously we can record. Well, sort of. We can record more tracks, but you can only use the same eight voices that are there. So if I've got four tracks and I'm playing chords on all of them, then it's not going to work. So let's do something that's a bit ambient. That's so unlike me. Obviously I can play that back now. Now the thing with the second track, third track, fourth track is I can actually add a totally different sound. See if I should have one voice left. So, all done, all the voices are used. Let's play it back. So I hope you enjoyed the look at the Synclavia today. If there's anything else in the studio that you'd want me to have a look at, or some effects or anything like that, please let me know in the comments.